Are you out of gems? Do you need those extra 100 gems to gem your archer queen? No need to worry, I have got you covered with the best gem guide in the land of YouTube. Make sure to watch every single method because I will show some secret ways that no one has spoken about. Hey it's Jaso here. One day when I opened my Clash of Clans account I saw something very shocking. Something so shocking, that my blood pressure went from 60 to 360, my hands started shaking, and my palms got sweaty. Yes, someone had stolen all my gems. Previous day I had over 1000 gems, but now, not a single one. I tried asking the new villager girls, but all they did was to clap to everything I said. So then I thought I would ask the dealer. He is awake all night long and logically thinking he must have seen who took my gems, right? Well, unfortunately he also didn't know. But then he showed me one time offer that I had never seen before. Yes, it was so good offer that I couldn't refuse and I had to quickly find a way how to get gems. Then I found out 10 methods how to get free gems in Clash of Clans. But before we will start, take 3 seconds to click that subscribe button for more content like this. Since the time was ticking and I had to quickly get the gems, then one of the first and one of the best ways how to get gems fast, was to remove all the obstacles. Not only removing obstacles the usual slow way, but the turbo way. And what I mean by that, is the Guinness World Record breaking way which I am about to do. In order to get many obstacles, then I have built my builder base as tiny and tight as possible, and as you can see I have a ton of obstacles. Now I am going to show you guys new world record most gems earned per second without paying a penny. Ready, set, go. One hundred and thirty eight gems just in about one minute. It must be a Guinness World Record for sure. Now the second way is tied to the first one. It's once again to do with Builder Base, and even if you are not a big fan of Builder Base, then at least rush it to as high level as possible while maxing out Gem Mine. Level 9 Gem Mine produces 4.80 gems per day, which might not seem a lot, but in longer perspective. Let's say in one year, you will get exactly 1752 gems just from your gem mine. So guys, max your gem mine. Okay guys, third one is something that has happened many times in the past, where Supercell gave 500 gems to some clashes. You may think, can I get 500 gems from Supercell too? The short answer is, yes, and I am going to show you guys how. Well basically you have to get to the official COC Twitter with your fan art, meme, or a video. So in order to achieve that, I went to get some inspiration. Right away I saw Pirate Queen fan art where it was said that they love all the fan art. Yes, you heard it right, all the fan art. So that's exactly what I was about to create. I opened Photoshop and started drawing a lot more beautiful version of this fan art in attempt of catching Supercell's attention. It took me many days and nights, but finally it got ready. Then it was time to upload it somewhere. And what better place we have than Clash of Clans subreddit. I posted it there and the response was amazing. Everyone were amazed by my drawing skills. Picasso must be sweating in his grave right now. Indeed he should be because Pic Jaso is about to take over his throne. You really nailed it. Excellent work. You see guys, people appreciate fine art when they see one. Didn't take too long until Darry and the community manager contacted me asking, how many gems do I want? Since it took me days to get this masterpiece ready then I said, 10,000 gems please. And he sent it. But all of that was unfortunately only a dream. It never happened. Although don't get me wrong, it's still possible to get those 500 gems. Just this time I wasn't lucky enough to get it. Then I was trying to think of a way, how else can I get gems? 
and then it popped into my head from the good old times when every Clash YouTuber was sponsored by one of those Cash for Apps applications. And that's exactly what I was about to try out. How many gems can I earn by downloading apps and filling in surveys? Well, it didn't go as planned. Instead of getting tons of gems I got tons of viruses. Also the time I spent to get few surveys done was just not worth it, because I didn't get anywhere close at getting necessary amount of points to redeem a gift card. So the fifth way is pretty straightforward, and huge thanks for that goes to Supercell for making all those events. Because I was a bit too late to this event then I thought I am not going to even attempt to get those 25 gems, but luckily there are new events almost every week, and you can earn I would say at least 100 gems per month with these. I would consider clan games as an event also, so if you would include gem awards from clan games, then you can get at least another extra 100 gems. As I was still missing a lot of gems and I really started running out of ideas how to get gems, then I had to do what man needs to do. Find a job and earn some money to buy gems. So for that I went to the nearest McDonald's and asked if I can work here. Of course the answer was yes and right away I could start earning that cash. Once the shift was over I took my 50 euros and went home, excited to buy gems. But all my excitement was gone when I saw that the electricity bill came and I had to spend all my hard earned money to pay the bill. So I figured it out that finding a job wasn't worth it. As I was staring at my Clash of Clans profile I realized that the gems have always been right in front of me. Of course the achievements. I looked through some of them that I can quickly pass and I saw a juicy one. Yes. Get those other goblins achievement. Since I already knew where I can find the best goblin map tutorials, then I passed each level with ease and soon I had extra 100 gems. And guess what? With these achievements you can get up to 14,677 gems, which is really helpful. Definitely a decent way how to get some extra free gems. Unfortunately achievements still didn't get me enough gems to buy the one time offer, and I had to use one of the last options, which was to join top 3 clans in Clash of Clans. Since I had thousands of trophies, then I saw perfect opportunity to help out second clan by joining it and helping to take over Bay Rab Clasher. I was almost positive that they are going to accept me, and very very soon I will get that juicy 50,000 gems but somehow the game was glitched and it didn't let me join their clan. So I thought I will try again later. Since I was completely out of ideas, then I did some intense research and came across this gem box trick, that was supposed to speed up the process of getting a new gem box after removing current one. This YouTuber said that the gem box will appear way quicker than usually, using this secret method. So for that I had to follow exactly his instructions. First step, send builder to remove the gem box. Second step, stop the removal exactly when it is one second left. Third step, don't let the builder enter his hut, and right before he gets there, send him back to remove the gem box again. This time let it be removed. Guys, I don't know about you but for me it sounds like absolutely legit trick that works 100%. The weird thing was though, that right after explaining this trick he said, don't expect it to work every time, and don't blame him if it doesn't work. If my gem box is not there in 2 days then I sure will blame this guy. Anyway, even if the gem box doesn't reappear quicker, then it is still free gems every few weeks. Even after all 9 ways I still didn't have necessary amount of gems, and then I had to use the last method how to get free gems and it was to sell all my magic items. Finally I had the gems to purchase this wall ring that I could use to propose the archer queen. But when I went to the dealer I noticed that something dropped out of his pocket. Yes, these were my gems. Then I knew it all was a scam and the offer wasn't actually real, but he just wanted to steal my gems again. So then I had to do what BK has to do, 